print on demand. Now, I'm pretty sure a lot of you have heard of the term print on demand, and some of you probably already know what it is, but some others have probably thought, what is print on demand? I have no idea. Let's go find out. So this video is going to focus on absolutely everything that you need to know on print on demand. What is it? How to get started? What are the best products to sell? And can you make some money from it? All of those questions and more will be answered in today's video. So make sure you stick around all the way to the end. Now, before we get started, my name is Mario with AutoDS, and one of my specialties is actually print on demand. That's how I got started in the e-commerce business. One of my best months so far was, I think, last September, and I made about six grand in one month. Now, while compared to some of these other influencers that make massive amounts, like millions each month, it might not seem like a lot, but being realistic about things, it's pretty good. Six grand extra a month coming through simply just one marketplace is a good amount of money. It definitely helps. I'll tell you that much. Obviously, that doesn't include all of the other marketplaces that I'm selling on. But just so you know, print on demand can potentially be a very lucrative business. Now, before we get started, let me know down in the comments below what your thoughts are on print on demand. Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Have you tried it? What are your thoughts? I would love to hear them. Let me know down in the comments below. So if that's something that interests you, if you want to learn more about print on demand alongside drop shipping, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. Let's go. All right, to get started, what exactly is print on demand? Now, it's pretty simple and it's very easily compared to drop shipping. So with print on demand, pretty much all it really is is a fulfillment business model. So what ends up happening is somebody's gonna come to your store, whether that be your own website, your Etsy or your eBay store, and they're gonna place an order for a particular print on demand product. That's gonna be typically either a t-shirt, a hoodie, maybe a mug or a mouse pad, things like that. Then once that order is placed, what happens is that order is actually automatically rerouted to your printing supplier. So you're not gonna touch that order at all. This is going to be rerouted to your supplier. They're going to manufacture the product. They're going to print it and they're going to fulfill it. So they're going to ship it out and then they're going to supply you and your customer with a tracking number. Let's say your customer bought that item for $30. You're paying $10. That means you're making $20 in profit. Now, print on demand primarily started with T-shirts. That's what got the entire thing off the ground. But little by little after that, a lot more products started being added and a lot more things started being offered. So for example, right now we're over at autods.com. Just so you know, autods.com offers some of the best products when it comes to drop shipping. But alongside that, we also offer tons of print on demand products as well. Products that you can customize, whether that be in a single spot or be able to customize the entire thing. You can find them over at autods.com. Now, if you're not a member of the AutoDS family just yet, then what are you waiting for? You can get started for just $1 for two weeks and you can check it out and see if you like it. But trust me, after you try us out and you add some of our products to your store and you start making some sales, I'm pretty sure you're going to opt in for that yearly subscription. But aside from that, let's check out some of the products that are available through Prints on Demand. So here, as you can see, you have your typical t-shirts, like I said, you have a tank top, a hoodie, some stuff for kids and your basic t-shirts. Got a onesie as well. Now, if you keep scrolling, you're going to end up coming across these over here. Now, what these are, are products that you can print all over. So this hoodie right here, you can print everything from the start of the neckline all the way to the bottom of the garment or even on the hood itself and on the entire sleeves. These shorts right here, same thing. You can print on the entire product. Now, not only that, but there's also a bunch of different variations for those same products, different types of shorts, different types of pants. You also have things like mugs, phone cases, tumblers, masks. You have stuff for around the house. So you have garden flags, mats, bath mats. And the last one I'm gonna show you, even though there's a lot more, is my actual favorite, and that's shoes. You have the option to fully customize these shoes. How crazy is that? So as you can see, there's a lot of different products that you can choose from. Now, the main thing with print on demand is having you focus on not only the products that you're gonna be printing on, but primarily on the designs or the designing part of it and the marketing. So with print on demand, you get to be a bit more creative than with something like drop shipping. Now, with that being said, print on demand also has a few more limitations than drop shipping does. For one, the biggest difference and limitation that you're going to find with print on demand is simply the amount of products. So with drop shipping, you can sell anything from a ream of paper for an office supply store to an entire furniture set. With print on demand, you're going to be offering more day to day items like the ones that I just showed you. But with that being said, with print on demand, you do have the ability to make a lot of money. Being able to customize your products and add your own designs is what sets print on demand apart from any other business model. Now, some of the pros and cons to print on demand is for one, 
prints on demand is actually pretty easy to start. And on top of that, it's pretty cheap to start as well. So for the most part, one of the places that you're gonna be selling on is gonna be Etsy. Etsy is the number one place to sell your prints on demand products. Now to sell on Etsy, it's practically free. You're only paying 20 cents each time that you list a product. After that, when you get a sale, then you are gonna get a fee. But to get started, you're only gonna be paying 20 cents. Now, if you wanna sell on a platform like eBay, then there you can get started for completely free because you can upload and list your products, again, completely free. Now, it's also very low investment. It's also very low cost because not only are you not paying a listing fee or anything like that, you're actually not paying for anything until you get an order. So you're not gonna pay for that t-shirt or for that mouse pad until somebody places an order for that item. So once you have that order, then you place that order with your supplier and then that's gonna go through. Now with POD or print on demand, you also don't have to hold any inventory. With a lot of other business models, you're gonna to have to have your own inventory, especially if you're shipping it out yourself. With print on demand, you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. You don't have to worry about finding any storage space, any extra storage space. You don't have to worry about paying for that extra storage space. With print on demand, you don't hold absolutely any inventory. The only thing that you have to hold really is your laptop, your computer, or your phone. Now, the last benefit that I'm going to cover for print on demand is the fact that you actually have room for some pretty good profits if you go about it correctly. Now, what do I mean? Well, some people are going to make their print on demand designs. They're going to upload them onto some products and they're going to sell them for super cheap or they're just going to upload some very generic products and they're going to hope that they sell. Now, that's not necessarily how you should be going about this. If you want to learn more about how you actually should start your print on demand business or how you should market it or how you can scale it, make sure you hit that subscribe button. But one tip that I'm going to give you right now is if you want to make more money when it comes to print on demand, for one, come up with some high quality designs. You don't want to have a blurry design on anything that you sell, whether that be a t-shirt, a hoodie, or a pair of shoes. You want that print quality to be good. Quality always. So because of that, you're always going to have to look for high quality images and you have to make sure that they are too. Another thing is you can start your own brand. So when you start your own brand, you can charge more for your products as well, given the fact that you have high quality items too. So you don't want to start your own brand, charge top dollar for premium products and end up giving them some really crappy t-shirts. So when it comes to print on demand, you get the choice of choosing a few different t-shirts or a few different brands when it comes to your garments. My suggestion to you is look up each one of those model numbers that you're given and check out the reviews. See which one's better and which one people are preferring more and go with that, even if you make a couple of bucks less. Because if you can give your customer a better product, chances are they're gonna come back and make another purchase. Whereas if you give them a crappy product, they're probably never gonna purchase from you again. Now, a couple of cons when it comes to print on demand. For one, shipping times can sometimes be a little bit wonky. So sometimes they can be longer than others, but Typically speaking, generally, it's going to be between two to seven business days. That's the industry standard, and that's pretty much the average all around. Two to seven business days for standard express is going to be about two to five. It's going to take about one to two business days for the most part for your product to ship. And then the rest is going to be based on your carrier. Now, that doesn't seem to be too long, which realistically speaking, it's actually not. A lot of people hear two to seven and they automatically think, oh, it's going to be seven days. Well, even if it is seven days, seven days isn't that bad. And it's not going to be seven days for the item to actually ship. It's typically seven days for your customer to receive the item. The item actually ships pretty fast. Printing these products is actually a lot easier than a lot of people think if you have the right machinery or the right equipment. Now, another thing that you need to look out for is supplier quality. So some suppliers might actually have better quality than others. It really all depends on which one you go with. Now, if you choose AutoDS, then you're pretty much gonna be guaranteed some of the top quality products. Everything is gonna be high quality because the print manufacturer that we work with, they have been thoroughly vetted and their items have been inspected to make sure that you actually have quality products. But if you don't go with AutoDS, there's a lot of other places that have multiple printers or multiple print suppliers. So that in itself can cause some issues with quality. Sometimes it might not be the same as other times. All right, so now that we know what print on demand is and the pros and cons, how do we get started? Well, that's actually extremely easy. Let's break it down step by step. Okay, the first thing that you need to do is you need to select a niche. Now, when I say select a niche, I mean select a design niche or select a niche that your business is gonna be revolving around. So do you wanna focus on the dog niche? Do you wanna focus on pets? Do you wanna focus on cars? Do you wanna focus on health and fitness? What topic do you wanna focus on? Now that's extremely important because that's gonna lead to our second step. 
and that's going to be choosing the right products. So when you choose the products that you're going to sell, you want to make sure that the products that you're choosing are relevant to your niche. So what do I mean by that? If you're in the pet niche, what are you going to be selling? So you're going to be selling some t-shirts that have maybe some funny dog sayings, some pet designs, maybe some hoodies along the same lines, things like that. Also, you can sell dog bowls with customized names on them, maybe a customized dog leash, things that go with the pet niche. Now, what are you not going to be selling? Well, for one, you're not going to be selling a bath mat. Why would you sell a bath mat if you're selling pet products? Another thing you're not going to be selling are shoes. How are shoes relevant to the pet niche? They really aren't. Now, what if you get into the cars niche? What if you're selling cars? Well, same thing. You're going to be selling t-shirts with relevant designs. You're going to be selling cups and mugs that have some funny sayings on them or some things that are relevant to cars, but you're not going to be selling dog bowls or you're not going to be selling customized dog t-shirts, at least not if you're in the car niche. So you see where I'm getting at? You need to make sure that your products are relevant to your niche. Now that you know what topics you're going to be covering or what niche you're going to be in and what products you're going to be offering, you need to actually get started with designs. Now designing, a lot of people have a lot of problems with, myself included. Designing is not my strong suit. I have the ideas for designs, but I can't make them come to life. I can't put it down on paper or I can't put it down on a screen with Photoshop or anything like that. It's just not in me. I just can't. So because of that, there's a lot of resources that you can use to actually help you out with this and pretty much streamline the entire thing. So for one, check out Pinterest. If you don't know what to do, if you don't have inspiration for designs, check out Pinterest. Pinterest is a great place to come up with different designs because you can get a lot of inspiration on there. Now, just so you know, if you want high quality designs, which you're pretty much going to need, you don't ever want to go with low quality designs simply because if the design is too low quality, most print on demand platforms aren't going to accept it. They're going to deny the design and you're not even going to be able to print products. So in order to get high quality designs, there's two things you need to focus on. One is a DPI and two is a size. I'm not going to get too deep into this because this can get very technical and very complicated, but just use this as a general guide for the size, go with a minimum of 15 by 15 inches, which equals out to 38 by 38 centimeters. Now, as far as the DPI or the resolution, never go below 300. You don't have to go over it because that's just overkill, but never go below 300 DPI. Keep those two settings and you're always going to have good quality prints. Now, another thing that I need you to know is to get these high quality prints, you are going to have to have a subscription service. Unfortunately, you can never get these for free and pretty much anywhere. So a few places you can find high quality designs are for one Etsy on Etsy. You can find tons of different PNGs or images that you can use for your print on demand products. So as you can see here, there's tons of different that you can choose from. Merry Christmas, bro. I really like that one. You got some Pokemon ones. You can't really use that because that's copyright. Remember, don't print anything that's copyright. You can go to jail. Got Disney ones. Same thing. Don't use those. Here you go. You have some nice ones here. So you have this Merry Christmas one. That one's good. You have a few different design options here. Not the Grinch one. Etsy is notorious for having a lot of copyright things on there, even though they do get taken down all the time. When you search for something, you're going to come across it. So just be wary of those and skip those all around. Your next option is Kittle. Now Kittle is actually my favorite because for one, it has all of these different templates that you can choose from and you can edit them. So you can change the text, you can move around the images, you can do whatever you want. Aside from that though, it even has an AI image generator. Now with AI, a lot of people are a little iffy about it because it's very wonky or at least it used to be. These are actually some of the designs that I've created using the Kittle AI. And as you can see, they're pretty good. One of the biggest issues has been hands. And looking at this one right here, you can see that this hand is actually perfect. It has four fingers and not like 20. And it's structured the way it needs to be. And the last resource I'm going to give you is Vexels. Now on Vexels, you're going to find pre-made designs. All of these designs you can download as long as you have a subscription, of course. And in a lot of them, you're actually going to get the Photoshop file. So if you know Photoshop, you can edit some of these. All right. So after you figured out the designs that you want to do, or after you already have the designs then the next thing that you need to do is select your selling channel or your marketplace there's a lot that you can choose from because you can really sell your products anywhere but realistically speaking there's going to be three top contenders that's going to be etsy ebay and shopify etsy is the number one place for these types of products everyone goes to etsy looking for tumblers mouse pads customized items t-shirts hoodies all that fun stuff ebay is close second although certain products on ebay are going to do better than others I've sold more tumblers on eBay than I have t-shirts and Shopify. That's actually going to be specifically for starting your own brand. I don't suggest starting a Shopify store to sell customized products or to sell generic products. If you're going to start a Shopify store, start up your own brand, make sure you have your brand colors, your logo, and you have everything in order to make sure that you come off 
as a brand. The next step is to select your print on demand supplier. Now, I mentioned it earlier, one of the best ones that you can go with is AutoDS, simply because for one, you get your two week free trial. So you get to test out some of the different products on here at a better rate than some of these other print providers. So when it comes to print on demand, a lot of the places that you go with are gonna have their free tier and they're gonna have their paid tier. With the free tier, a lot of the times you're gonna pay higher prices, but you're not gonna have a monthly subscription. Now, if you go with the paid subscription, of course, you're going to be paying the monthly fee, but the products are actually going to be a couple of bucks cheaper. But none of these places actually give you any free trials or any dollar trials. So I highly suggest checking out AutoDS because you're going to get some of the best prices, some of the best quality, some of the fastest shipping, not just to the US, but also to Europe. And you can get started with the entire thing for just one dollar. Now we need to move on to marketing our products. So how are we going to market our print on demand products? Well, this is pretty easy. And the number one place that you're going to do this is going to be TikTok. TikTok is absolutely blowing businesses up right now. If you're not creating content for TikTok, then you're missing out on tons of money. But aside from that, you have organic marketing. That's going to include making your own content and posting everything for free. So this can include Pinterest, posting on TikTok, posting on YouTube, making a blog, posting on Facebook, things like that. You also have Google advertising where you set up your Google ads account and you start advertising your products on Google influencer marketing, which right now is actually one of the best ways to go about it, especially if you're on TikTok shop, TikTok shop makes influencer marketing a lot easier, a lot easier than it's ever been. But with this, what you're going to do is simply look for influencers in your niche, whether that be on TikTok, Instagram, or wherever else it may be, maybe even blog influencers and offer to send them a free product or offer to give them a product and a discount code for their followers, something like that. Then they're going to promote your products to their customers and it's going to drive traffic to your store. Now I'm going to leave you off with a few different tips to help you get started and to grow your business. One of those is to keep up with trends. Now I know this is easier said than done. A lot of people say keep up with trends and just, you know, figure it out. But what I'm going to tell you is get on TikTok. Honestly, TikTok is where you're going to find trends. That's where you're going to find the most trending things going on right now. Get on TikTok, start a new account and don't focus on things that you like. So don't start liking things that you're interested in. Start liking products, start liking print on demand products, people wearing t-shirts, people showing off their mugs, people showing off their tumblers, things like that. Start liking all of those different types of videos and you're going to get more and more suggestions. After you see different videos with similar products, then you can really start to focus down on what niche you want to get into or what product you want to start selling or what else you can start offering. Another thing I highly suggest you do is to order a sample. Make sure you order a sample because not only will that ensure that you're offering top quality items, but you can also use it to make your own videos. What better way to market your products than organic marketing and making your own videos on top of everything. It's the cheapest way to do it as well, but order samples, check out the quality, make sure it's good. It's, it's simple quality control. Also make mockups. A lot of people don't know what mockups are. Mockups simply are digital files or digital images with your designs on the products. You don't have to have your product actually printed. So if you have a design for a t-shirt, you can make a t-shirt mockup. With AutoDS, whenever you upload your products, it's automatically going to generate a mockup for you that's going to be on your listing. But you can vary this. You can put it on different models. You can even put it on videos. So certain websites like Playset specialize in mockups. Playset.com is a website where you can go and get some pretty specialized mockups. Some of people even wearing your design. Now it's absolutely crazy. It looks really cool. I highly suggest you check it out. And that's pretty much everything that you need to know about print on demand, the business of it and how to get started. Let me know what you thought about this video down in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Let me know if print on demand is something that you plan on starting, if it's something that you have started or if it's something that you just simply aren't interested in. Whatever it may be, let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Huge thank you to everyone for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. As always, it truly means the world to me. If you did make it this far, obviously you enjoyed the video. So make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. With that, my name is Mario with AutoDS and I'll catch you all next time.